Hi everybody, I'm Pat Finn, and uh, want to wish you a happy Mother's Day. I was uh, remembering my amazing mom on this day, and I realized today that it was actually something to do with Mother's Day that had me get into broadcasting and be on television. And it all goes back to when I was in fourth grade, I was in the Cub Scouts, and we were going to do a show for all of our mothers. And uh, we stood up on the stage, and everybody had a different line from the poem. It was, M is for the million things she gave me. O means that she's only growing old. T is for the tears she shed to save me. H is for her heart as pure as gold. And then it got to me. It was E. And I froze. I literally froze. And, and the cub master from off the side of the stage was trying to feed me the words. And even then they didn't make sense to me. And it was something like, E is for her eyes, her love like shining. Made no sense to me as a kid, could not remember it, one of the most embarrassing moments ever in my life. And it was in that moment that I decided that I was never going to get in front of people again without being prepared. And that's what happened, you know. Throughout high school, I was prepared. Whenever I had to give a presentation to the class, I was prepared as I got to audition to become a radio personality. And when I got to audition to become a TV weatherman and then for my own talk show, uh, and then eventually as a game show host, it all started that day, that horrible day on the stage when I was in fourth grade uh, with Cub Scouts for Mother's Day. Now, here's my point. That thing from the past propelled me. I made a decision in that moment that I was never going to do something and not be prepared again. However, there are decisions that we make in the past that will actually limit us, you know, that, wait, I'm not good enough, I'm not smart enough. Uh, I'm not the one, I don't belong, all, all of those things that we could still track as an adult that get in the way of us performing at a peak level. Well, that's one of the great things that's uh, about our Rubicon teams. When you're part of the Rubicon program, you're on this team of 12 people. The 11 other people are there to support you. You have private coaching calls with me. You are, um, you are talking to an accountability partner and connecting with them every day. You're living out of a big promise. You're coming to team calls every week. And all of that combined becomes, and, and the future that you're creating for yourself, by the way, all of that becomes way more important than anything that happened in the past. In other words, when the vision is so powerful, it pulls you forward. And then add to that all of the other uh, encouragement, support, accountability that happens along the way and people start to produce literally radical results in the 10 weeks of the program. So um, if you're at all interested in finding out about that, maybe you're finding yourself in a rut right now, maybe you're starting to think of a project that you'd want to put into place, maybe there's a book you want to write or a business you want to start or investments that you want to get or weight you want to lose or finding the love of your life or whatever it is that for you would be a radical result, like incredible if you pulled this off, then I invite you to come to a free coaching call with me. We call it a discovery call because you could really discover what life could be if you could have life be any way you want it to be. And there's no obligation with the call. I just get excited about helping people see something that's possible. And then you may choose to be on a team. In fact, if you did it on Mother's Day, you could also have Mother's Day be a life-changing day for you as it was for me many, many, many years ago. So uh, you can... Private message me here or go to rubiconresults.com and then click on the box that uh, has you get right to my calendar and set up a call. I hope to talk to you soon. Thank you and happy Mother's Day.